Hey guys, and welcome to... It's all about the game. So, WrestleMania is days away. Um, so, it makes sense to do a video now looking at the main event. Um, Triple H against Roman Reigns. Now, everything that I've seen has said that this is going to be the match that goes on last. Um, I know a lot of people are expecting the Shane Undertaker match. Maybe even Lesnar Ambrose. It won't be Lesnar Ambrose. There's not enough riding on that. Um, and there's a lot riding on Undertaker Shane. I just think that Triple H has got quite a bit of influence. It is for the WWE title. Traditionally, that goes on last. Um, although there's certainly been quite a few occasions where it hasn't. And uh, WrestleMania 8 comes to mind uh, with that one. Macho Man against Ric Flair for the title, and it's in the middle of the card. Um, but anyway, this, this will main event. And um, I think that WWE are going to have a problem. I think there are a lot of Roman Reigns fans. And whenever I talk about Roman Reigns on Twitter, there's normally several people that come out and defend... Uh, how he's been booked and how he's being perceived. Um, so I do think there's a large part of the universe that are on his side. I certainly do not anticipate 100,000 boos. Um, I don't anticipate 100,000 people, in truth. I think that WWE might uh, inflate that figure a little. Um, but I think that um, it will be 60, 40, 70, 30... Uh, some kind of split around that. It won't be 50 50. Um, I do think there's going to be more anti Rain fans there than there will be pro Reigns fans. And um, I, I think that it's going to be uh, booze when he wins. There is no doubt about this. He, he's winning that title. Um, they could pull a swerve. It would be a big swerve, actually, if Triple H was, uh, was to retain. Um, personally, I would like that i would think that would be a real surprise i'm not saying that i don't want to see reigns win the title uh in fact i think that i've got reigns's best interests at heart um because i ultimately would like to see him succeed um i just think that they need to either turn him heel and a lot of people have said this or he needs to uh earn his place um, and you can say well he has earned his place he won that tournament and then he um, you know he, he won the tournament and the previous year he'd won the Royal Rumble and he's had the title and then he's had uh, had to survive a cash in when Sheamus cashed in on him and you know he's been cheated and cheated and cheated and cheated and cheated and that that is true um, and I would I would agree that WWE at the end of, I believe it was TLC last year, end of TLC, Reigns just snapped and destroyed Triple H, came across like a real badass, and he really won people over. Um, the Philadelphia crowd that had so loudly booed his Royal Rumble victory were largely cheering him. WWE had actually booked him correctly. But then from that moment, it all went downhill. You know, he should have been nowhere near the title. He should not have had the belt since that moment when, in actual fact, they give him the title, put him into the Rumble, and then allow him to sit out most of the Rumble. And then he comes back. And he's not coming back to cheers. He's coming back to people going, they're just going to put the belt on him again. All of that all of that goodwill that had been built up for him, you build up the goodwill so that the payoff is he finally gets the belt. Well, you've given him the belt before WrestleMania and then you've put him in a Royal Rumble where he was, you know, not eliminated. He was beaten up and then, you know, got to sit out the majority of it. it. It didn't make him look strong in the slightest. In the slightest. Triple H goes on to win the Rumble. Um, Reigns is out. Um, for quite a while. When he comes back fairly recently, he delivers a, a beat down on Triple H uh, that I thought was very strong. Um, and that was a good segment. Uh, but then, you know, this past week on Raw, I think there was a bit of a misfire. His, his promo with Steph uh, was very strong. Uh, you know, she goes to slap him and he actually grabs her hand before she does and uh, comes out with the line, looks like I'm the authority now. 
I remember saying on my Raw review, that is a... Where did that come from? That, you know, he's been... His promos have been awful in the past. Um, just, you know, stumbling and mumbling and putting in references that don't mean anything and just really getting... God, just not coming across like the badass that you want him to be. You know, it should be a case that he just doesn't say anything. He comes down, he kicks ass and he goes away again. And if some people get the better of him sometimes, that's fine. He's off TV for a few weeks, but oh, you better watch out when he gets back. And, and, and I think they've got that across to part of the universe, but not to all of the universe. And um, the Smarks, and I hate that term, but the Smarks, the Smart Marks out there, the people that read online all the rumours and everything that's happening and who's getting pushed and all that kind of stuff, and they just don't want Roman. They don't want Roman because he's not as good and this is this is simply how it comes down to he is not as good as Kevin Owens he is not as good as AJ Styles in our eyes he's not as good as Dean Ambrose you know Ambrose can cut a better promo can can talk better on the mic um has got uh, maybe a slightly wider um variety of moves in his move set um, you know, Reigns for a long time just did Superman punches and spears and that was it. Uh, and drive-bys on the outside. Those were his three spots. Um, he has started to add a bit more now. His matches aren't as, you know, generic as that. And that was a, that was a big part of the problem. But Ambrose has been, you know, mixing it up for a long, long time. Has got a better connection with the fans and they have built him perfectly. You know, you want to talk about someone that's constantly getting cheated out of the title. This guy's been cheated out of it for about two years. Um, currently, Dean Ambrose has never been World Heavyweight Champion. They are going into WrestleMania with someone that the majority of the fans um, are clamouring to see finally get his hands on that belt. He is he is the new people's champion and they they know this and they're building him up even more you know it's not a coincidence that they're doing a lot of skits with Ambrose where um Mick Foley gives him the barbed wire covered bat and um Terry Funk's giving him the chainsaw um because Terry Funk was known as Chainsaw Charlie I dare say you'll see some on this week's Raw to come um, as we build towards that match against Lesnar. I'll do a separate video on all of that, but I just think it's interesting how they're building these guys um, and the Reigns build has unfortunately largely stalled. Um, some people on my Twitter account have made a really good point though, you know, I mean, there must be something going right because they wouldn't push Reigns for no reason. Uh, I do think that there's a lot of web searches for Roman Reigns. I think that there are a lot of people that, you know, um, go on to www.com and, and search for him and certainly buy his merchandise and watch his clips on YouTube and all of those statistics matter just as much as what the fans are saying at the house shows and what the fans are saying in the crowd at Raw. It, it matters equally in the eyes of WWE um, because money talks. Money talks louder than anything else. If every single member of the WWE Universe right after this video went out and bought a Dean Ambrose t-shirt, I promise you he would be world champion for a long, long time. Vince McMahon is a businessman. And so there must be indicators that show that Roman Reigns is the, is the right way forward. Um, it's just that he's not connected with what feels like the majority of us. So with all that being said, um, I fully expect Reigns to win. I then fully expect the majority of the crowd that's going to be at WrestleMania, which tends to be um, have quite a large European element to it. Um, you know, WrestleMania is must-see around the world. People come from around the world. But, um, you know, soccer chanting is something very European, and you do get that at WrestleMania, and you do get it more so the next night on Raw. That, that Raw crowd doesn't matter where it's being held, is raucous. And the reason it's raucous is because if you've got a flight and gone to America to watch WrestleMania, the second it finishes, you're not getting the flight home. You're going to stay. You've put all that effort into getting WrestleMania tickets. You're going to Raw. So you go to Raw, you know, it's the, probably, it's the last Raw you're going to see or the last bit of action you're going to see. Maybe you've got SmackDown tickets for the next night, who knows, but... Um, 
chances are you, you you're off after that. It's your final chance to uh, you know have a big you know say in uh, and get your voice heard and everything. And God, that crowd that crowd takes that opportunity. Uh, the Raw is normally better than WrestleMania. They normally save. They treat that Raw actually as the start of the next season, if you will. Um, it's it's kind of like WrestleMania is the final end of the wrestling year, and then the next night it's right next year. Let's go, and that's where you get a lot of debuts, and that's where you know things get shaken up again. WrestleMania is a weekend, a long weekend. You can watch it on the Sunday night, but you better watch Raw on the Monday. I I personally think Reigns wins. I would love, love um, Seth Rollins or Sting to come out and interfere. I, I think I would enjoy um, Seth coming out on this one. I think that Reigns gets the victory. Crowd will boo, or boos will be heard, and then I think that Seth's music hits, and out he comes. You've got a Roman Reigns that's going to be, you know, battered to within an inch of his life. Seth could come out and just give him a reminder that Seth never lost that title, and uh, he's still the champion in his eyes. That sets up a massive match in the future. I think for Extreme Rules, we see Triple H rematch against Roman, um, which you know Roman will get the better of again, and then you know further down the road, well you're going to start having Seth coming back. Uh, we might see Cena come back and challenge for it. I would imagine uh, Ambrose will get an opportunity at some point. Um, I'd imagine Brock will get an opportunity at some point, but unfortunately I see Roman holding on to this for a while. Um, I, I think that he needs a good title run. If they're going to put the belt on him, he needs a good title run and he needs to be a good champion. You know, defend it to all comers and uh, really, you know, put in some great five star matches. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see. It's a fairly easy one to call this one for me. It's, it's Reigns that's going to win, but I think Rollins comes out so that WrestleMania doesn't finish on a load of boos and uh, it can finish for the second year in a row with a smiling Seth Rollins, um, who I think will get a real big baby face pop. Um, so yeah, watch this space. The only other uh, thing that's worth mentioning is that um, uh, Shawn Michaels is meant to be the guest referee still. I don't know if that will be announced on this week's Raw. They've certainly left that bit late, but they might have left it late on purpose. Uh, if not Michaels, then the uh, other rumour that I've heard is that it could be Mick Foley who might come out and take that spot. Um, and uh, also, uh, I touched on it, but Sting. Sting has been booked very badly in WWE. He doesn't feel so. He's honoured to have had a WrestleMania match against Triple H, and then he's honoured that you know another of his matches was uh, against... Um, Seth Rollins for the title. Um, unfortunately, he lost both of those matches. He's he's saying that he wants a match against The Undertaker, so maybe he gets involved in that match somehow. Um, but I just think it'd be cool if Roman wins the title because of something that Sting does. Maybe Michaels, if he is the guest ref, is cheating um, and you know costing Roman his opportunity to be victorious. Sting can then come out and take Michaels out of the picture somehow. Another ref comes down to the ring. One, two, three, new champion Roman Reigns. Um, Sting then has kind of paid back Triple H uh, for cheating him out of his WrestleMania victory the year before. And uh, I just think that makes perfect sense because Reigns wins it. But you can't really hate on Reigns because he's got the support of Sting and he's won it because of an action that Sting has taken. And all Sting has done is even up the sides. I just think that that would be clever booking, which probably means it won't happen. Cool. Uh, don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter at Wrestling Days UK. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this, it would be brilliant if you did. Uh, I really would appreciate it. Uh, that way I know you won't miss out on any future videos. And I will hopefully see you again next time. Bye for now.